All right, now we're getting into the machine guns. Let's start with the Dragoon. Ooh, an easy to handle, fully automatic, capable rifle with the shortest barrel possible. <laughs> That's an interesting description. So the thing about this weapon is just like the USM AI, this is normally a Chris only weapon when you play the campaign for the first time. But of course, you can buy it for Ethan afterwards in the in-game store for 30,000 CP. And again, I'm gonna show it off here with Ethan. So let's check out the Dragoon. Quite a reload. Okay, there's not really a point to doing the block thing with machine guns, it looks like. All right, pretty nice. This weapon cannot be upgraded, so we'll go ahead and test it out. I'm gonna also test the machine guns on more Ikas. Pretty conclusive, takes around four, maybe five shots from the Dragoon to take down a Mora Aika. And which makes sense actually, because this isn't submachine gun ammo we're using. We're using assault rifle ammo, and rifle ammo definitely packs more of a punch than simple handgun ammo. So this is a pretty lethal weapon. It's actually one of my favorite weapons to use in this game. All right, so that's gonna conclude the Dragoon. Now for the next and last assault rifle, the WCX. A short-barreled assault rifle, able to fire rapid and powerful shots continuously when holding the trigger. All right, so, and as you can see right off the bat, unlike the Dragoon, this one can be upgraded and be fitted with custom parts. So the WCX is an unlockable for beating the game. Once it's available in the store, you can purchase it for 30,000 CP similar to the Dragoon, and you can find it and its parts with the Duke once you begin the New Game Plus. Now to look over the custom parts, First you got the red dot sight, which increases firepower and rate of fire. And then you got the foregrip, greatly reduces recoil. All right, let's test this thing out. Ooh. Nice tactical reload. Now to check out the WCX fully upgraded. Ooh, all right. So yeah, the red dot sight and the foregrip attached. Pretty neat, much better stats. Now let's test it out. First, I'm gonna show you guys the tactical reload though, since I don't have the ammo conservation to do otherwise. All right, now let's check it out, fire speed. So the firing speed is probably the most noticeable change when it comes to the upgrades. It is the fastest firing weapon, I wanna say, in the entire game once this is fully upgraded. All right, so now let's test the WCX on a Moraika. So multiple tests indicate it took five shots from the WCX, no upgrades or parts to take down a Moraika. Nearly the same firepower as the Dragoon. But now let's try it with full upgrades. Alright, 
multiple tests indicate that this baby takes only three rifle rounds to take down a Maraika. So overall, this has higher firepower, higher capacity, higher reload speed. So once you get the upgrades on this thing, it definitely overtakes the Dragoon in many aspects. Alright, that is it for the WCX, as well as all assault rifles. Time to give the firepower a major boost, and we're moving into the shotguns. The first one is the M1897. Ooh, nice design. A pump-action shotgun commonly used for hunting. Well known for its stability and reliability. Alright, so here's the location of the M1897 shotgun. Shortly after you defeat the very first Lycan, and you come out of the house, you go to the next house over here. And you can see lichens are placed up here, and it's about to trigger the lichen, the lichen raid at the beginning of the game. So you go into this house, and the shotgun is right there on the table, as you can see. And this shotgun only has one custom part, the hair trigger here, which greatly increases rate of fire. Okay. So the location of the hair trigger for the M1897 is the same as the high capacity mag for the Lemmy from the very first time you meet the Duke. Seeking something in particular. Supplies, go to parts, and there it is, the M1897 hair trigger. So let's go ahead and test the shotgun out. Okay, and since he's loading shells, the only difference between an, a partial and empty weapon is the amount of shells you load into it. That's it. He almost bypasses the pump action with the block animation. So I want to share something with people watching this video right now. As I'm recording these clips, I'm actually hanging out in my Discord server, and I got a lot of people helping me out, like, with this review. They just pointed something out to me that I didn't even know about, and I'm glad they did, because it is worth showing. So once I empty a clip, instead of hitting the reload button, if you just hit the trigger again, even though it's empty, you know how normally it would reload it for you. However, if you have this shotgun and the next shotgun in the lineup, you do a special action. Check this out. Now, if you do that but not fire, then he just continues reloading. So that tactic can be very convenient when you're with a horde of enemies and they're just rushing you up in your face and you just don't have the time to reload all those shells into it. So that's a really nice feature to have. This is one of the few games with the most realism when it comes to the weapons, probably. But I'm sure weapon enthusiasts will find other ways to pick it apart. <laughs> now let's check out the M1897 fully upgraded. Not anything really noticeable here since the real only part is the hair trigger. So the Mr. Raccoon weapon charm that comes with the village trauma pack along with the Albert AW01. You can't see it right now though because I have a setting turned off in my options. It's really not worth showing to you guys. All it is is a charm that's dangling off the end of it. In fact, it kind of looks ugly after a little bit. So I'm not even gonna bother showing you guys it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and continue and check it out. Fully upgraded. So yeah, again, since the hair trigger is the only visible upgrade, you guys didn't see much with me firing. However, once I reloaded all of those shells, the reload speed really came into play right there. So that was nice. All right, so I'm gonna test the shotguns on a large lichen, which is kind of like a regular lichen, but it has some armor on it and like wears a mask. Let's test it out. Alright, 
18 shots to take down a large lichen with the M1897 no parts or upgrades. Damn, that was tedious and tough. So now let's try this baby fully upgraded on the large lichen. So 14 shots to take down the large lichen with full upgrades and parts on the M1897. So not a dramatic power increase comparatively, but the capacity upgrade and the reload speed should suffice. All right, that's going to conclude the M1897. Now for the next shotgun, the W870 TAC. A pump action combat shotgun has a wide spray that's good for suppressing groups of enemies. All righty. So the location of the W870 TAC is in the garden after defeating Beneviento. When you come back, the original path is blocked off, so you have to divert to the right here. And the W870 TAC is inside this shack. Over to the right here, and there you go. Whoop. Now let's check out the W870's custom parts. First, you got the improved gun stock. Greatly reduces recoil. And the foregrip. Greatly increases rate of fire. The improved gun stock could be found with the Duke after defeating Beneviento. Does this look familiar to you? And there you go. The location of the foregrip to the W870 TAC can be found after you acquire the crank from a row. And you backtrack all the way towards the giant's chalice, but you divert right here to where this drawbridge is. And use the crank. And this gives you access down here. And you want to head downstream. And get to the port. And you can go left or right for the custom part. You want to go right. And lead you into this cave here. And you got to squeeze through this bit. Come over here, never mind that. And the part is in this briefcase. Foregrip. All right, let's test it out. And you can do the shotgun trick with this one as well. <laughs> Alrighty. Now let's check out the W870 TAC fully upgraded. Wow. Very different with that improved gun stock and foregrip. It's a long shotgun. Alright. Let's test this baby out. With how he holds it now, it reminds me of Ada's shotgun in Resident Evil 4. It's almost faster than the actual fire rate. Okay, so let's test the W870 on a large lichen. So it took 14 shots from the W870 TAC to take down a large lichen with no upgrades or parts. So right out the gate, this has about the same firepower as the fully upgraded M1897. Once again, each next weapon you might as well have because it's overall better, at least in firepower. Unless you're not a firepower buff, that is the only way to go really. All right, now let's test the W870 TAC with full parts and upgrades against a large lichen. All right, 
So it took 11 shots from the W870 tech fully upgraded with its parts to defeat a large lichen. So similar to the previous shotgun's test, there's not a dramatic firepower increase, at least not enough when compared to a large lichen. There was a difference of three shots in there, but I mean, the large lichen shouldn't be messed around with if you don't have powerful weaponry, so I think that's a pretty adequate test. All right, that is gonna conclude the W870 tech. Now for the last shotgun, the Saig 12. Ooh, a semi-automatic shotgun that focused shots make that's focused shots make it powerful against single enemies. Customizable for even more firepower. All right. The Saig 12 shotgun could also be found with the Duke after you reach Heisenberg's factory. The same with the V61 handgun. Go to weapons. And there you go, the Saig 12. <laughs> And here are the custom parts for the SAG-12. First, we got the drum magazine. Greatly increases ammo capacity. And then we got the red dot sight, which increases firepower and rate of fire. Two things increased at once with one part. Interesting. And then finally, the long barrel, which greatly increases firepower. The red dot sight is also available with the Duke, along with the SAG-12 weapon. There it is. Both the long barrel and drum magazine custom parts for the Saig 12 can be found with the Duke in a new game plus, just like the V61. Something in particular. There you go, long barrel and drum magazine, sandwiching the red dot sight if you don't purchase it yet. All right, let's test it out. Nice reload. Now this one being a clip and a semi-automatic shotgun, there will be two different reloads. Check it out. Now for the SAG-12 fully upgraded. Wow, okay. Red dot sight, long barrel, drum magazine, all in one. Pretty bulky looking weapon. Now it looks similar to the striker and the jailbreaker from four and five respectively. All right. And that's an insane capacity. So not being a pump action, you can't do the shotgun trick with this one. So there is none of that. But we'll go ahead and test the SAG-12 now on a large lichen. All right, so 10 shots from the SAG-12 to take down a large lichen with no parts or upgrades. Once again, right out the gate has higher firepower than both of the previous shotguns. So it totally makes it redundant once you unlock the higher shotguns and pistols. It's just proving it every time. Can't imagine what this thing is gonna do to a large lichen fully upgraded with its parts. Wow, so only seven shots from the fully upgraded with parts Saig 12. So this thing is a powerhouse once you fully upgrade it, and it has a mean capacity. This is a really nice weapon to have, honestly. All right, that is gonna conclude the Saig 12, as well as all shotguns.